Okay. So the next question that we got on the menu today is how do we find the derivative of secant squared of x? So uh, to write that out, um, let me just uh, change something real fast. So to write that out, uh, we could write something that looks a little like this. So the derivative d over dx of secant squared of x. Another way that we can write this is we know that secant is equal to 1 over cos. one over cos x so we can rewrite this whole thing as d over dx of one over cos x um, squared or we could also write this as like this d over dx of cos to the negative or, or let's just write it like this, cos x, and then whole thing to the power of negative 2. So uh, let's just take the derivative of this, and in my opinion, it should be a little bit more lightweight. So this is a situation where we want to use the chain rule. The chain rule. And we're going to link it up with the chain rule, because chain links are cool. Chain rule, chain cool. So to do the chain rule, um, what we're going to do is we have a power there, so we're going to have to multiply by the power, 2, multiplied by, well, exactly what's the same here, so cos x, but negative 2, now negative 1, because we did that, but because we brought the negative 2 down and subtract 1 from the power, and then we have to, um, to multiply by the internal derivative of the... Um, of the power. So the internal derivative is the derivative of cos. The derivative of cos is negative sine. But it's not a negative sign that we got a negative sign, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And um, so this is going to be d over dx of secant squared of x equals that. And uh, we can rewrite this d over dx. You see, the negative sign can neutralize the negative of the 2 in front. So we just have 2 sine x, whole thing divided by cos um, x, and this whole thing cubed. Okay. And uh, that could be uh, one version of our final answer. Um, but they rewrote it here, so we know that sine x over cos x is equal to tan x. So we can rewrite this as 2 tan x, and because we replace the sine, we're, or we're going to factor out one of the coses, uh, divide that by the sine, and that will turn into a tan. And this is all over cos squared of x and that cos squared of x we can rewrite that as or the divide by cos squared of x we can rewrite that as secant so 2 tan of x secant squared of x okay so these are all different ways of writing the same thing um, in a perfectly fair world um, all of these answers would be uh, legitimate so yeah it's cool stuff uh, yeah. Okay, and, um, yeah, it came to the same conclusion. Um, above solution is good. Be easier to convert to um, cos uh, to the power of negative 2 and do the chain rule.